Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. We seem to be doing a lot of videos lately, knelt down. Uh, if you listen carefully, you may hear a pixie in the background screaming in pain. Ah! <laughs> I just pulled his hair. Um, right, if you hear anything in the background, uh, Straubs is actually uh, just playing around with a graphics card that's being released next week. So keep your eyeballs open Tuesday morning and we'll have a load more uh, reviews for you. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Anyway, uh, it's been a long time since I've actually had the time and stuff to get onto the Nürburgring rig. Now we've got 2011 out of the way and I'm obviously moved home and basically what's happened recently is I, all my, I've had stuff turn up in the uh, front room from a, do you know what I mean, where I'm like decorating the flat and stuff and uh, my old sofas and stuff have gone. I've finally got room to get the uh, racing rig all set up properly so it's kind of given me the kick up the bum I needed to do the Nürburgring rig again. But there's many of you out there that might, even know, might not even know what the Nürburgring rig is. Um, now I've got a uh, play seat evolution, which is like a white leather bucket seat on a frame with a Logitech G27 kit. Uh, so I can do what I call my gaming. Because a lot of you, when I say I'm not a gamer, you all go nuts and say, why are you doing reviews? Well, I don't really like first person shooters and stuff like that. For me, I like the hardware and building and making stuff look nice and trying to eke out all the performance from something rather than just chucking a rig together and playing games on it. Um, because that's kind of like where my custom build background comes from. Um, but I do really like car games, but I, I don't really like playing them on wheels and I needed something static that I can have set still so that when I finish work I can leave the office, go in what's now going to be, it's going to be sitting in the front room turn the rig on and I can play some car games and like meet up with my friends and do my game in that way. That's more my type of thing. I'm actually really excited about R Factor 2. Um, so I'm hoping to get some time on that. But the game I've played the most uh, was, has really been Shift. I have got Shift 2 but again I need to you know get things sorted. So I wanted to um, build a rig. Now uh, many of you may remember my, um, and in fact I'll add a, a link here now, the BitPhoenix uh, 6 hour mod challenge uh, where I took a Shinobi and I made a temporary main rig for myself in it with water cooling and stuff. Well that video was literally a te test run for this, uh, which is my white Shinobi. Now I've modded the white Shinobi anyway and obviously I'm just trying to catch you all up on this. Um, but I've got a white Shinobi which it may look a bit different here. I've got blue strips down it, but I've, um, I've put white carbon fibre. Now, you can see that ridge there. That's because the, the uh, optical bay I've covered as well, and it doesn't quite sit flush, and it doesn't on any of them. I really need to hot glue the back of it, but you can see that it's all white carbon. Right, but if you have a look in the back, you can see that I've left the Bit Phoenix logo unlit. Now, basically, when I turn the PC on, you can't see it there, but when you turn it on, you get the uh, logo show up in the front and it looks awesome. Even I like it. We've done this in a previous video. Um, I've also done all the roof and I've done all the corners and everything with the carbon as well. It goes right the way down and basically at the bottom we've got the USBs which I left uncovered. I need to talk to Bit Phoenix actually and get a uh, USB free one of these. Um, but I covered up the audio and, uh, well, the two audio slots, so don't use them, and we've just got the power and reset buttons, but it's all carbon as well, as you can see. So I've trimmed all of that. Now, the Shinobi is uh, pretty much exactly the same now as uh, the Bit Phoenix Mod Challenge one. Yesterday, I broke out the tools. Now, this isn't finished yet, but I've basically cut the bottom out of the optical bay I took it all out of a Dremel by the way but the uh, optical bay there you can see it's there's no base to it and I've cut the front uh, and essentially this radiator grill goes in the front I'm trying to do this all with one hand so bear in mind you know give me a break the radiator grill gets bolted into the front and then we bolt the radiator to that and that's how we basically, it's like bodging the radiator in the front of the case. Uh, but once the front's on you can't see it. So that's how I'm getting the radiator in the front and the radiator we're using is a XSPC RX240, exactly the same as I used in the, the other Shinobi. We're going to be having push-pull fans. I was originally going to try and paint this white. 
Uh, I don't know whether I'm going to get time now because like I said I'm just trying to get this done. Uh, I may eventually skin it with some uh, white carbon film as well um, but it really depends because my hair dryer that I use for doing the film is packed up so I really need to go out and get another one but we will see. Uh, also in the bottom of the case I've had a bit of alley made up that I've also trimmed in carbon. There we go and that basically gets chucked in the bottom of the case in fact, I'm going to stand up and just put this in now, just so that you can see. It's a really simple little thing, but basically it just cleans up the bottom of the case. So rather than having all of the uh, fan things and everything available, you know, to be seen, I just put that in there and then it smooths out the bottom. I've also got a bit of... Um, alley that will go over the side of the optical bays as well with carbon on it just to smooth off that bit of the carbon as well. Um, we did have a competition actually because we didn't know what we were going to call the rig uh, and obviously we called it the Nürburg rig and that's the Nürburg ring but that's my favourite track. Obviously where it's a computer we call our computers rigs that's where the Nürburg rig come from and Alan from uh, who's now started his own business I might add he um, he designed the logo for me and I've got a lot, a lot of time for Alan. But go and have a look at Yarm Web Design. Um, and yeah, just Google it. The bloke's an absolute genius. So if you've got any web design needs, anything like that, do you know what I mean? Uh, he can do your logo designs, design a basic website for you. He's got loads of packages. He's trying to get his business off the ground. And I've got to admit, he's doing really, really well. He's on uh, Twitter as well. I'll try and find out the details and uh, Put the link underneath but yarn web design is what you would need to know he actually designed me this that's the logo and the uh, the dot is the oc3d badge now it's simple but effective and i love this and that's also uh he tied all this in and we had a uh, intro for the video and everything in fact that's a good point i need to find the nurberg rig intro because i love that i'm glad i remembered that now because i'm gonna have to put it at the beginning but alan did this and the introduction um, and I sorted him out with some kit for it and then I had this sticker made up which is basically going to go on the side of the door so that'll look awesome. Um, the motherboard has changed I'm now using uh, this board I've been using in case reviews for forever and a day I've had it crikey probably about a year now I think maybe longer but this is the Gigabyte uh, P67 UD7. It's not even a B3 model. This is literally, I had this, it was a brown box when it came. It was uh, like a pre-production sample. And I've just been, do you know what I mean, just using it. Uh, so I'm going to be using this in this uh, rig. Um, it's got a 2700K in it at the moment, which is, uh, we've got it all set up at 5 gig. Um, and then I've got memory wise, as you could see, it was in there then, but I've got two kits of uh, the white low profile uh, Vengeance. Uh, I don't know whether I'm going to use 8 or 16 gigabyte yet, so one or two kits. We'll just see when I start finally gaming on it. Um, I've also had these cables here for forever and a day, but they're the Bitphoenix uh, Alchemy cables, and I love these cables. I'm going to be hanging those off the back of a Be Quiet 850 watt power supply. I was going to paint the power supply, but again, I don't think I'm going to get time. And to be perfectly honest with you, the reason why I've not got time is it's always damp and raining and horrible in the UK at the moment. It's not really good enough for me to go out and try and paint in the garage or out, you know, outside, you know, in the elements. And I've really not got time to try and get some booth time to go up the booth in the evening and set everything up just to paint a, like a radiator and a bloody a few bits of um, uh, plastic on the power supply. Um, you know what I mean? Setting, you know, mixing all the paint up and all that kind of. I really can't be bothered. Um, now, uh, graphics. Again, something I've had here for a while. You've seen the review on this. The Gigabyte GTX 580 Super Overclock. We're going to be sticking this in this rig. Uh, you may think that's a bit uh, bonkers for uh, something that's really going to be playing uh, racing games. That's a fair enough point. Uh, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to go 3D vision on this yet. I've not actually had enough time to be able to sit in front of the monitor that I've got and uh, test it with the glass on. See if I actually like playing the game in 3D or not. I will be doing that all at a later date, and at least with the 5.8, it'll be, it'll be so future-proof. I'll probably be say, playing games at 60 frames a second plus in two years' time. It's not really going to make a lot of difference. Um, also, uh, we're going to be using a Patriot Wild, Wild, Wildfire. Uh, this is one of their SATA 3 120 gigabyte drives. It's one of the really quick 500 plus 
megabyte a second jobbies. Um, so we'll be doing that and doing a little review on it as well. Also, I've had this for so long. This is some of Mayhem's pastel coolant. Now, this I got this at uh, I Series last year, and this was like one of the first lots of blue that he'd ever made. This was before it got released, and I've just not got around to doing it. But it's a really lovely blue. I may chuck a bit more blue in it, try and darken it up a bit. Maybe spin in a bit of black to try and you know get the colour perfectly right. But when it's in the rig, it's going to look lush. Um, I have got uh, an XSPC Bay Res all trimmed up in carbon as well. I may redo it. I'm just down here grabbing it because it's underneath the... I may redo it because I'm not 100% on this yet. But I did trim all that in carbon as well. We'll see what that looks like when it goes in because it's simple enough for me to change. But right, that is your um, Nurberg rig kind of catch-up reminder refresher. Uh, I'm now actually going to be doing the final few bits. I need to sand down where I've dremeled and stuff, get a bit of touch-up paint on it, um, going to get the board in there, get the fans in there, all that kind of stuff. I'm starting the build now. I'm going to be doing that today. I know this is going to be confusing for a lot of you because I'm doing builds in with uh, the um, competition stuff and everything that I'm doing, but I've got a bit of uh, uh, a G up me bum at the moment to get stuff done. So basically... I'm going to be doing this at the same time as the competition stuff so I can mix it in with um, uh, you know, stuff that I'm doing for you guys and then stuff that I'm doing for myself as well. Uh, and luckily, like I said, Straubs is here helping doing uh, like the monotonous graphics card tests for me. Um, so then, do you know what I mean? I've, it's the only way that we can get everything done, basically. Say hello, Straubs. Hello. No, you need to face me. It's... Hello. Did you go deaf? Um, right, so... Uh, yeah, I will be back with updates on this. And one thing I will say, will say, is uh, I am going to be finally doing myself uh, my own new rig. Um, yeah, yeah. Going 2011, uh, finally going to be getting a big update. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. Keep your eyeballs peeled. The white 600T is going to be making an appearance. But I'm going to leave that alone for the minute and you'll have to see when stuff happens later on but for now at least this is tiny tom logan with the nurberg rig kind of refresher video just so that you know you know what's bloody going on when the other videos start falling in out say goodbye straubs bye <laughs>